Hello everyone and welcome to five years in the future of the Arsenal save and we are going to see what exactly has happened in the world of football including the Arsenal team. This geezer here he's called Adam. I've mainly brought him here so he can plug his own series. It's on other channel. It is. I'll put it in the description. It's SK Shadow Football and uh, he is Tunbridge FC currently. Tumbridge he's actually Angels, on yeah. a pretty good run of form. What he said. Mm. Uh, it's been good over there. I'm, I'm like winning things. So. Yeah. Now let's have a little recap of what has happened. I reckon you should go through five years worth of emails. <laughs> oh yeah, definitely. Um, Jurgen Klopp's job is insecure. Interesting. Uh, After right, five years. I think Liverpool and then English Premier Division stages. Then we go all the way back. Why is he insecure? I don't know. Anyway, so if we do a recap, we can see that the first season we won, of course. Arsenal, the good, the good times. Uh, <laughs> the good times. Yeah. We, we managed to win with two points off Man City. Second Ooh. season, everybody should know as well. We came fourth in the end with Newcastle winning their first ever Premier League by one point to Liverpool. Jesus Christ. Yep. And since then, let's have a look. So we won the Champions League that year. We did, yeah. There you go. 2024 to 5, who won? Man City, as you would expect. Arsenal managed to come second, so we kept the top four. Who took your job, though? 82 points in. We'll get to that. Oh. Um, <laughs> I know who's doing this. 82 points to 92, so relatively far off. Like nowhere near as tight as the first two seasons were of uh, league wins. Any big shocks? I mean, Everton got relegated. I don't think that's a shock. Leeds got the Europa League. Hey, on, so they're all the way down the like, Europa League. So <laughs> yeah. they've obviously won the conference. Yeah, they won the conference league. Oh, they go. won the Europa League twice. Back in the day. <clears throat> yeah, but they, won, they must have won the conference yeah, but... league. Next season, Liverpool won. With both City and Arsenal tied on points with 77. Middlesbrough in the Premier League, that's yep. interesting. They got relegated. Um, <laughs> Newcastle, Tottenham there. All pretty normal, I suppose, other than West Ham getting fifth and getting Champions League. Obviously, the new Champions League format would have kicked in at this point, so now five teams in the Prem get Champions League. Oh, damn. <laughs> oh, that's, yeah, I suppose that's a good point. Yeah. yeah. Um, then the next season, 26-7, Liverpool won again, so they've won twice in a row. With Man City two points behind. Arsenal still in the top four. In fourth, your team, Chelsea, in third. Not Brentford bad. finally getting relegated. Finally. Yeah. Um, everything else normal. 27-28. Liverpool again. My God. They've won, what, one, two, three in a row at this point. Arsenal coming fifth, but still get Champions League. Even Tottenham got Champions League. All six of them got Champions League. <laughs> How? It's the new format. If, if you're... Um, yeah, but six and still shouldn't Because you get four and then you get another one for like winning it and then another one for being the best ranked league, I think, or something like that. I don't know. But oh. yeah, it is possible to have six teams in Champions League. Which is All out of England. Yep. The English dominance is real. Current yeah. season, Arsenal finally won the league again. 84 points. Da, 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 and then da, Newcastle second. Da, da. Liverpool, after winning the league three, term, three times in a row, ended up fifth. Lovely. Uh, QPR and Blackburn got themselves into the Prem. Blackburn, I can understand. That happened to my save yeah. like last year. QPR, nah. <laughs> Once again, nah. Aston Villa getting Europa League in 16th. Well, they're fucked. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> right, let's find out who replaced me. One person has been there for the entire Stefano time. Stefano Pioli. Four years, 315 days. Stefano Pioli. He yeah. was the head coach of Milan. That's him. Okay, fair enough. Um, so he's, he's just been there the whole time, and they've been happy with him. So Nice. What's their current squad looking like? Ramsdale, Saka, Erdegaard, Martinelli, Jesus, Timber, Salabas, Calvini, Tierney, Tommy Asu. Is that Ruben Neves, by any chance? Yeah. Uh, uh... That is exactly the same squad as I had. Apart from Neves. Ain't bad then. Who's you got on the bench though? He's got? made one change in the entire squad. Konosichi. He's still there as our backup keeper. I brought him in when I was there. Max Ahrens, Cywald, they were there. Didn't sign this guy. Okay. Yeah. Sambi Conga, still there. Gabriel Zinchenko and Rua and Tudor. I didn't have Tudor. them. So they've managed to go five years without making really any changes at all. Well, that's kind of impressive. <laughs> and still managed to win the league five years later with effectively the same squad. 
<laughs> Don't change what's not 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 broken. Let's look that, at their actual literally. transfers. Have they actually done anything not worth noting? Oh, they bought in Ruben Neves for sixty eight million pounds. Jesus Christ! How many how, how, how many games has he played for Arsenal? To be fair, he's played very consistently. He hasn't played very well, but he's played very consistently. Yeah, but he's been in, he's literally put him into that DM role by the looks of it, yeah. so they won't get good ratings. No, I mean they needed a DM. That, that, that's why I ended up buying Verratti because I got rid of Xhaka because he wanted to leave. Um, Salik they bought. Maya. Selig's my Selig makers. I don't know. Selig's my. <laughs> I think that's how it's pronounced. It's got a K. <laughs> yeah, you don't. You don't pronounce it. It's you can weird. play pretty much everywhere on the right. And that's mad. Um, um, that's a bit of a weird one, but okay. So they paid forty four and a half. Played him for two seasons and then a, a little bit, and then sold him for forty seven and a half to Leicester. Who he's been brilliant for, can I say? <laughs> he has. So he made profit. Fair enough. They bought Florentino Louis. Louise. Louise for 34 million. Played him for a bit. Played terribly. And then has now him. loaned him out to Roma. And Alfred then they bought Calvert Lewin. Nine, no, ten goals in total for Arsenal. <laughs> and then moved to Milan for a small loss. Benjamin White, PSG for 50 million. So they got the 50 million back. A <laughs> uh, couple of guys, though. 12. I didn't even know we had this geezer. In that squad that we just looked at, he was there. He is. Oh. He's come back. For £56 million. Pounds. <laughs> <laughs> Great business. <laughs> That's classic. Oh, oh my that. God. And they played him for that entire season and then they just swapped him back out for Ramsdale the next season when they won the league. What are they doing? What? <laughs> That's been a leaf out of Chelsea's book here. Selling players and bringing them back for stupid money. I got him on a free because he was a pretty decent backup keeper and had good potential. And and then they sold him immediately when I left to Dortmund for thirteen million. He played he went to buy consistently. For 41. Went to buy for forty one for a season, and then Arsenal bought him back for fifty six million pounds. So this guy they had on a free initially, oh my God. then paid fifty six million pounds for him. Gee whiz, man, that is just... That's terrible business. That is just horrific. Oh, my God. And he played one season for them. I, I'm assuming Ramsdale is the guy that's played that's the majority of the game. What's doing? Cool business. <laughs> yeah, Ramsdale didn't play all the game. But was he just... Was he injured for an entire season? Is that what happened? Well, you'd be able to tell no. by his... Um... No, his biggest injury has been seven days. Oh, well, there you go then. He stopped his toe for a week. <laughs> Why didn't they play him? He didn't leave Arsenal, did he? No. stopped his toe for a week. Yeah, he played 14 games in that season. Weird. Life. Next season, they made no transfers in. Everyone went out, though. There At you, you all. got the permanent Gratty 10 eventually million. sold for 10 million. Sold Vieira for 19 and a half. Man, use him properly. He's like a good player. I know. We paid 33 for the guy. Mm. I mean, he didn't play very well for me in my second season, to be fair. But and then a few other people. Marcus Leonardo they eventually sold for fifteen million. The next season they went thirty three million on Jota from Celtic. Seventy nine million for Vitor Rock. Oh, I don't know how you say that. Rock Ro Ro Roque. Roque, something like that. Yeah, Roque. He's played okay. He's had over seven average rating. He played really well for Wolfsburg. That's probably why they bought him. <laughs> yeah. But, fair enough. Um well, that's where they bought Karnasichi again. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Jonas Wind. Okay. <laughs> nice. He's played a little bit for his £27 million. Pounds. It's old Smith Rowe to the PSG for £61 million. What a million. guy. Bob King went to Dover for free. <laughs> yeah. Bob King. What a standard name. And Calvert-Lewin went to Milan for 22 and a half. Fair enough. And then this season, paid £38 million for... Rua, a 21-year-old regen Colombian. Nice. Value between 41 to 124. That's not very specific, is it? Yeah. <laughs> He's Anywhere paid. in between there. Champions so, League. There you go. Right. There you go. Past winners. So that Bayern, was when I won. Bayern, Chelsea, Arsenal. Bayern. Barcelona, Bayern, Chelsea, Bayern, Bayern. Arsenal came runners up, 27. Chelsea have been pretty good. Mm, they won it once. Runners up once. Yeah, we won the Europa League. Then Newcastle, United, PSV, Leipzig, Tottenham. Jesus Christ, Tottenham. Ah. <laughs> they've, they've, oh. they've won a trophy 
<laughs> oh. oh my god. <laughs> Uh, well, at least you know in your glory, aren't they? It'll only take you to 2027 to win something. <laughs> Let's go. And then Parthenope, which is Napoli. So. Yeah. Um, and then the Conference League, who's won that? Chelsea, Leeds, San Sebastian. <laughs> United, oh. San Sebastian again, and then Berlin. San Sebastian, Real Sociedad. The goal 50. What? It's crossed 40. Callum on it. Goals, 40. <laughs> With 47 goals in 49 Yeah, if you go to the Ballon d'Or, that'll probably give you your best. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I remember Jesus won it in goal 50. He got 50 goals in 50 appearances for me one, in that season. One, won a game. Yeah. Then Haaland and then Lukaku, actually, at Chelsea. Jesus. Interestingly. God. He's technically still out on loan. Yeah. Well, so. Lewandowski, Mbappe, Haaland, Mbappe, Haaland, Lewandowski, Mbappe, Haaland, Saka, Saka. Mbappe, Silva, and... Tuchmeni. 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 Too many. <laughs> Too many. Too many. I wonder what the biggest transfers have been, actually, each season. Mm. Oh, Let's go back to the beginning of time. Rodrigo moved from Madrid to City for £110 million. Um, They did end up paying the 110 as well. Dwight McNeil moved from Everton to Spurs for £73 million. <laughs> <laughs> that for Dwight McNeil? <laughs> what? English tax, Oh, my, my God. Did he actually play? To be fair, he's, he's played very consistently well. <laughs> Fair play. In a struggling Tottenham as well. Uh, no, in a struggle well both. In a struggling <laughs> yeah. Everton, I was meant to say. Yeah, he played really well and then they paid 73 million for him. How much do they say he's worth now? 97 to 290. 290? Nah, no one's ever paying 290. Nah. Nunes moved from Wolves to Juve for 73. Next season, Ansu Fati moved from Barcelona to Liverpool for £144 million. Pounds. <laughs> Adiemi moved from Dortmund to Chelsea for 84. And then Man United spending the two biggest transfers for a combined two hundred like thirty million pounds on Bellingham and Ahmed <laughs> Anal. <laughs> <laughs> and he's currently transfer listed for sixty three million. Uh, ahem, hang on. Ahem, no. Ahmed Hodge. It's easier just to say Anal. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it's pronounced Anel. <laughs> oh, there's literally a top player list. Okay. Oh. There you go. Your top. There's your top in the world. Mbappe, yeah. Haaland, Ansu Fati, Sancho, Junior, Kane, Pedri, Martinelli, Jesus is up there. Phil Foden. Pretty much everyone we would probably expect to be there. Yeah. There you go. No real shockers. So there you have it. Very interesting five years into the future of the Arsenal save. Mm. Thank you very much for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe, comment, all that fantastic stuff. And go over to me and do that as well. <laughs> yep. And if you're looking for any other FM content, of course, you have his side where he's doing the Tottenham. You also have my new series, which is up on the channel. You're not doing the Tottenham. Not Tottenham. You are doing Tottenham. Well, but not in that scene. Yeah, that's a stream thing. With stream thing. No, no, no. He's doing um, Tunbridge. Both begun with a T. <laughs> he's doing Tunbridge. Uh, so yeah, go check that You're out. About to win more than Tottenham ever have. Yep. <laughs> so there you go. And uh, I've just started the Dartford save, which is going quite well. So check that out as well. Links will be in the description.